Okay, so this is one of the methods that I'm using to nano coat the coils for my trifecta GANS project. <laughs> I'm using a method um, kind of along the lines of what Dr. Rodrigo told me that he does as far as the 50 minutes on high. Um, I'm using a crock pot. This is actually a dollar store crock pot that I got um, actually at Goodwill store. Um, this one has off, low, and high. For the first setting, I crank it up to high, let it get good and hot for first. So I probably turn it on for five minutes first. And then I put the um, nice virgin coils in there. I give them a good squirt with the caustic. Make sure that they're good and wet. And then close this, and they're actually going to simmer for 50 minutes. And I'll set an alarm for that. And then what I do is I take them <clears throat> out, rinse them with distilled water, and discharge them. Uh, usually sit them on the nice damp earth for a while, um, grass out front, and ask Gaia to help them discharge. And then I bring them in and check them with the meter sometimes just to uh, finish the discharge and see how Gaia did with that. Usually she does pretty good. Um, and then I will go back and put them back in here. The, um, the blackened coils, they're pretty black by that time. Um, sometimes there's some spots that aren't quite done. And I'll hang those black ones back in here on, on the, the low setting for another 50 minutes. And then repeat, discharge and rinse. And um, the same way. And then it, so that way they have three different times in the crock pot with a discharge and rinse cycle. And by that time they're pretty good, nice dark black nano coating and I can either use them directly in the GANS production or I can go ahead and give them a dip in the beeswax which preserves them better and makes some darn good GANS as well. Okay so this is just kind of a trial for me for three different ways of caustic coating some coils for the trifecta HBPT method. <laughs> um, just you know if we were going to do maybe a weekend program, you know, how could we uh, allow people to make some coils and nano coat them and start making their GANs. So um, I looked at three different methods, um, just straight up putting a naked coil in a Ziploc bag, um, the triple crock pot method that I put together, and then um, method number three on the right was doing the propane torch first and then the crock pot method. Um, I'm in the middle of discharging one of them right now and I was getting tired of waiting on it discharging. It was actually going up for a long time. Started off at about 50. I don't know anything about electricity so I don't know what that setting means. It's on the 200 millivolt setting um, and it went up 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 to about 86 and it stayed there for a long time. Um, and now it looks like it is slowly trickling back down. Haven't had that happen. Okay, so back to the subject. The Ziploc baggie method. Um, I just put it in a gallon size Ziploc bag with a small amount of caustic in the bottom. Sat it out in the sun for three days. I would just kind of shake it up a little bit, make sure they were good caustic coated, and then lay it down in a place where um, you know, the ground wasn't real even so that the coils weren't actually sitting in the caustic liquid. They were, they were um, more like a little higher in the bag with the caustic not actually soaking them so that they were steaming, I guess you would say, for three days. And um, the little scribble right there says that I discharge them um, once or twice a day depending on my schedule, my work. And it looks like it did a really great job actually. Let me see if I can... Okay, I was going to take one of them and just kind of look at it in the light. They, um, they're very thorough, actually. Um, good and dark. I don't really see any shiny spots at all. Just that really thick, um, intense black-gray when you spray them with a little bit of water, distilled water. They have nice shiny black. Um, and then the other method was the, the crock pot one. I, Put that on a video already. Um, 
That one also looks really good and thorough. I don't see any spots that are not thoroughly nano coated. Um, maybe they look a little bit shinier than the Ziploc bag method, slightly, but pretty darn good. And then we have the one that I did a propane torch with first. I think part of my problem with that one was I probably overcooked the <laughs> coils a little bit. You know, it's kind of an art as to how you quickly you move the propane and um, whatnot and any areas that you get red are going to basically fry the copper like like that one little tip right there see I'm gonna end up having to clip him off and then um, spray a little caustic on that so that the tip is not raw um, there were actually a couple of the coils that I ended up not using at all because I over fried them and they didn't look so good so but the rest of them came out pretty well um, you just kind of have to watch your method. I'm not sure that it they look any better than the ones that I uh, didn't pre-treat them with the fire. Like this sit over here, I didn't pre-treat them with pro propane torch. And for the extra amount of work, I don't think it got me any further. It looks pretty good. So this one takes about three days. This one takes about four hours, I guess. You know, three hours for the crock potting with a little time in between for discharging. Um, and then this one, a little time for the propane torching, and then you add on to that the amount of time for the crock pot. So, okay, let's see, I'll just put this back in here and see if that one's discharged yet. I think it finally did trickle down. And then that's what you do in between is, I usually pick, you know, one side or the other as far as the black or red. I've, um, when I do my testing, it tells me that it doesn't matter um, as far as that's concerned, but the three things that we're doing with that... Um, according to my testing, it says it's accurate to say that we're um, trickling off the gathered electric charge. We're teaching the nanoparticles to line up. And we're teaching them how to flow current. So, um, all things said and done, I think my choice, especially like if you had a, a weekend group or something, obviously would be this because here in a little bit you could take these and um, go ahead and make some GANs or you could dip them in some beeswax which I'll probably do because that preserves it and instead of one batch of GANs out of a coil then you can potentially use it for a long time if you're a busy person you got a lot going on but you have a few days before you want to make GANs that's the easy one Ziploc bag so have fun with it hope that helps make things more efficient for people oh and here's another quick cute thing these are the um, uh, product of the trifecta setup that I did and probably could have made a lot more but I got lazy tired and hungry and so I just put the rest in the bigger vial so I could have obviously made more each one has I guess probably about one ml of the actual GANs um, with the, the water on top and of course okay that's a CH3 this next line are the the copper oxides and this next line are the CO2 zinc oxides. And like I said, I could have made a bunch more. I'll probably go ahead and hand fill them in, but it's a cute way to be able to share with people. Um, these are just little bubble containers from, from the Dollar Tree. And uh, you can clean them out, take the little bubble wand out, and then have a nice little um, spill-proof container. I like the shape too. Pretty cool. Okay.